Thank you for your purchase of Masters of Light, the Ascended Masters Group Oracle board game. Begin by taking the board out and placing the various four category decks in the four corners of the game to align with their spot on the board. Provide a game legend for each player playing and open up the golden pieces bag for the group to select one piece that will represent the group for their journey today. Once these tasks are complete, you're ready to begin the opening ceremony as the game guider. Although this opening ceremony is optional, we found that it brings a lot of magic and synchronicity to the flow of the game and we highly recommend it. For your convenience, we have provided a sample of words in the game manual for the ceremony, but you are more than encouraged to use the words from your own heart at any time you wish. Normally after the small opening words, the group is relaxed and the journey is ready to begin. Starting with the first participant, they will pick up a card from the master's deck and choose a spirit guide who will journey with them for the rest of the game. This is an oracle style deck and we encourage participants to pick up the cards by shuffling, knocking, or their intuitive way of choice. Once receiving the card, the player will speak the mantra of the guide three times out loud for them to be activated in their life. If the player is not familiar with the Ascended Master or Goddess, we have provided a brief description in the first half of the Oracle Manual. Now that they have selected their Master card, they may roll the dice and are ready to move on the board. Starting at the center spot, Masters of Light will take you and the group on an incredible journey into deep inspiring questions, heart-based activities, and a lot more. If a player is uncertain of what to do on a particular spot, they can easily check the game legend as provided in the beginning. The activation spots are the main aspect of Masters of Light with over 144 cards to activate your family and friends. Upon landing on one of the four categories of Mother Earth, Relationships, Creativity, and Self-Discovery, participants will pick up a card Oracle style from the deck. This means they don't just have to pick up the first card on top, but they get to use their intuition to allow them to be guided to the proper card. Upon picking up the card, the participants will read their card out loud right away. This is only one major rule in the game, as it ensures that the players are able to think on their feet and the rest of the group is engaged. After this card or board spot has been completed, Repeat the steps by having the next player pick up a master's card, read their affirmation three times out loud, and then roll the dice. When you have successfully, as a group, completed one rotation, you will not need to pick up another master card unless advised through one of the board spots or cards in the game. In this version of the game, there is no major group objective of collecting flame activations like the long version, but rather, this is just an intuitive journey into deep questions and activities for as long as you wish. We find in this version, you can just keep it on your living room table and roll anytime you need a shift of inspiration or positivity in your life. The journey is complete whenever the game guider feels it is necessary to close out. But remember, each time the group goes around the entire board, everybody will get an additional master card, which will also be their oracle reading upon completion. Now that the journey is finished, open up the oracle guide and have players read their oracle readings out loud to each other if they wish. This will open insight into why these masters journeyed with them today and provide valuable wisdom for them to take beyond the Masters of Light game. Once this is complete, engage in a closing ceremony to close the circle and send everybody off with well wishes. We have once again provided this example in the game manual, but you are more than welcome to always use your own words. Congratulations, your game is now complete. Now let's go check out how to play the full journey. The full journey has many similarities with the flow version, except for the main reason that there is now a group objective. Using the same setup, opening, and closing as the flow version, the only major difference is that rather than just one golden piece to represent the entire group, now each individual player has their own piece 
as they move around the board to achieve the group objective. Their mission as a group is to collect flame activations via the major categories and cards. The group receives an activation each time they successfully complete a major category card. Depending on the amount of players playing, there will be a different activation number needed for the group. For example, if two players are playing, the group will need to reach two activations total as a group. If three players are playing, the group will need three activations total as a group, four players, four activations, and so forth. Note, these activations are for the entire group to be reached and not just one individual. With that said, it might be possible that one player lands on multiple activations in the category and another lands on none. That is perfectly okay. Know that the more players playing, the longer the game will take, so you may adjust the activation numbers as the game guider to accommodate the time available. Say for example, you have four players playing but have limited time. You as the game guider can make the group objective three or even two activations per category to speed up gameplay. Once the card activation is complete, the game guider will put one of the colored pieces in the center of the board to correspond with the flame activation being complete. If a player lands on a category where the group objective number has already been reached, then they may simply roll again until they have successfully left the completed category. Similar to the flow version, each time a player goes around the entire board, they will receive another spirit guide card, which will be their oracle reading upon completion. When the group's activation numbers have been successfully reached in all categories, it is time for the oracle readings. Pull out the oracle guide and have everyone share their oracle readings with each other. Upon completion, engage in a closing ceremony and you have successfully completed the full journey of Masters of Life. By now, the group should be closer, more connected in the heart space, and just feeling generally uplifted. This is the magic of Masters of Life, and we thank you all for purchasing, participating, and playing with us all. Deep love and gratitude from Now Age Imaginations.